Good morning, everybody. Today is the day we're doing our donation. You are looking beautiful. Thank you. We got to get going, though. Off we go. We got another good dump of snow this last night. This winter has been pretty crazy. So for those of you who have been following, uh, we did a fundraiser for uh, our little wiener dog when he went in for surgery and uh, were able to cover everything, thankfully. And we had some left over and we promised that if we had any left over, we would do a donation like this. So this is what we're doing today. I'm very excited and this was all made possible because of you guys. So not only did you help us in our time of need, of great need, you're also helping other dogs that need to find good homes and eat. So we got uh, a bunch of play pens in the back of the truck here that we had collected over the last couple of weeks. And we're going to Costco in Winnipeg. We're gonna pick up a pickup truck bed full of dog food. And we're bringing it over to Meadowood Pet, Pet Valley. Are you excited? I am. I wish we could have brought Frank with us. But you never know when there's going to be a dog that maybe doesn't like little dogs or something, right? They're rescues, so there's some special cases. Also, with going into Costco, we didn't want to have to leave them into the, in the truck and stuff. So it yeah. would have been nice to have the guy who's, you know, responsible for all this, really. He's the reason people donated. It'd be nice to have our little donation mascot with us, but he's with us in spirit, always. Bert's dad is meeting us at Costco. He's gonna help us out with everything, or at least hang out with us. And we'll go out for lunch after everything's done and come back home. Yeah. Later on today, yet I have to shovel some snow off the roof, but we won't think about that yet. And I've got vlogs to edit. <laughs> for now, we're just excited that we can finally, finally uh, do this donation. We had to wait for today because they, uh, it's um, they don't have a real home base. Right, this it's foster based, so it's out of other people's homes. They don't have an office, yeah, that's what I was going for. They don't have an office, so they're doing a, an event today at the Pet Valley on Meadowood in St. Patel in Winnipeg, and we're gonna meet them there. So we had to wait for a day that worked out when I could be home, and they were also doing an event. And it works out that they're on the southern part of Winnipeg right now, which is the closest side to us. So today was the perfect day. Here we go. Of course it snowed last night again. It's still snowing actually. We've had so much snow this year. It would be a great year to have a snowmobile. I keep hinting at Britt. I don't know if she's caught on to my hints yet or not, but it would be a great, great year to have a snowmobile. Too bad we don't have a snowmobile, right Britt? You want to sell the house, get snowmobiles and live in the camper? Yep. That's not the answer I was expecting. Be a little cramped with all our fur boys. But we'd have snowmobiles. Look at how much fun we could have. Maybe someday, but today is not that day. We're gonna have to make a few more vlogs before then. Maybe we could just go look at them? Maybe. No, because I know what happens when we go and look at things. No, no, we can't go look at them. Forget it.
So we're clearing them out of the puppy food. They had to get the forklift out to get more down for us. Closed off the whole aisle just for us. <laughs> I think they're done. <laughs> we're special. We closed down Costco. We've always been a little special. <laughs> Look at her go. pickup and bring it up to the front there so that we don't have to push those heavy carts all the way to the back of the parking lot here. Here you are. I'm very hungry. <laughs> and she bought me a bed. Okay. Here we go. Careful not to hit any bumps on the way. Uh, oh no, it's a Chevy. She won't even notice that there's something in there. <laughs> Ride will just be a little bit smoother. We just don't want to lose any bags, that's all. <laughs> oh no, those things aren't going anywhere. All right, got a lot of uh, questions asked. <laughs> it looked us. a little strange, we just bought out Costco. <laughs> we took everything they had. There's only one specific food that they had requested, so we bought all of it. I think there was how many bags? 73 bags. We bought Seven. every single bag. 73 bags of food. And then we got uh, all of this back here yet. All the play pens. Play pens. And did we get them some toys? No, but we... we always could while we're there if okay. they want some. So we put all the, put everything into these play pens and the food. So we're good to go. I gotta go get gas though. <gasps> She's thirsty. You let her drop below half. You're I know. You're a vehicle owner. I'm a rebel, plus she's a Chevy, I trust her.
this thing all filled up. Putting some more in the car. We filled up three of their vehicles. Mine was probably lost mine. Three of their vehicles. And now here's all the puppies. Let's go say hi to them. <laughs> These two are in charge of Spirit of Hope Rescue, where all of our food, just, where all the food just got donated to. Yep. Do you guys yep. need anything else? This is amazing. This, this is this will make a huge difference for our organization. We currently have over 80 dogs in rescue. Um, they're all from indigenous communities around Manitoba. Um, annually, we rescue anywhere from 400 to 550 um, dogs. Uh, we're working with the indigenous communities in order to help address the overpopulation so that we can prevent the starvation, the violence, the disease, the suffering that the, these dogs and, and puppies are, are enduring so, because of homelessness. So we run a, we do that through our rescue, which has a foster and adoption program. We also do it through our low-cost spay-neuter initiative. And, uh, we have a team of 20 amazing volunteers awesome. that yep. uh, very work passionate to, what we do. Absolutely, that <laughs> we, we understand work, that. <laughs> we work hard to, to run the organization, and we couldn't do it without our foster base. Um, they're the people who open up their hearts and their homes. They give these dogs a chance to know what a loving home is, and uh, they're the difference makers. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Trekker Josh and Bird's Feet fans awesome. were. Happy to donate and help. Yeah, well, we appreciate it immensely. That's amazing. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, the, a donation of this size is a huge difference maker to our organization. It means that we can spend our money on the, the veterinary yeah, that care uh, that the dogs need, rather than having to go over and buy our our, our supplies. So we appreciate it. <laughs> it's it's going to a good cause, and and we'll make sure we. And we need more day. fosters. We mm -hmm. always need more fosters. fosters. Yeah. Absolutely, spirit of hope rescue we'll put adopt. the if you are a good potential pet parent adopt and we'll put the link to your uh, social sites in the, the description of this video as well Perfect. so everyone can go down there to find. Awesome. we're one of manitoba's largest foster based rescues so i was just talking to glenn here and he was telling me some stories about some of the puppies he's rescued from way up north and it was very interesting to hear and very heartwarming to hear you want to tell the story one more time? Well, uh, yeah, I guess uh, while I was working up north and uh, uh, doing some doing some work, and we were uh, going through uh, the dump and that, mm -hmm. and uh, a buddy of mine came down the hill and we saw two pups there that were only about eight weeks and mm -hmm. just starving. Uh, so, long story short, uh, we put, grabbed them, threw them in the truck finished our day and they stayed with us all, all, all the time uh, in the back of the truck and then they even taking them out for a little bit there do a little bit of walk that's awesome and they just stuck with us and uh, so they had a helicopter ride uh, to a lodge stayed overnight in the lodge helicopter ride to the airport and airport ride straight to uh, Winnipeg and this is what Spirit of Hope is just made one phone call and within a half an hour they had everything on a plane, ready for me the next day to get them on a plane. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. And that's what Spirit of Hope Rescue is all about. They take dogs that are in need of rescue uh, from around the communities up in north, uh, up in the north of Manitoba, right? Fly-in communities. Fly-in communities. And they bring them down here and they find good homes for them. So you guys are all a part of that story now too. Let me eat your phone, let me eat your phone. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Jersey. Okay. Okay. Over here. Jersey. 
Nope, puppy green. <laughs> What's over there? Another puppy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Those green eyes just get me. <laughs> Britt almost walked away with one. Well. That little Jersey guy with the green eyes. If I wasn't going on the truck soon, he'd be ours right now. I'd be walking out with him as we speak. <laughs> but we can't have four dogs in a truck. That's that's a little ridiculous. Three is crazy enough. Yeah, but we are pretty crazy. You know, we might try it. <laughs> we're not saying we're not going to. We're saying I'm not going to right now. Not right now. Not <laughs> we haven't had lunch yet. Let us eat first. Nice people. Right. Very nice people. Really nice. So if I haven't told you in the vlog here already, the link to their rescue is going to be down below in the description of this video. Uh, Britt is also making a video that's already been released on her channel. Link to her channel is down below as well. So go check it out. If you're in the area uh, for Manitoba and you're looking to get a dog, why not adopt? These dogs need good homes. So I'll see you guys when we get home. So we just got home and time for me to clear off the roof. We got some serious ice damming and it's coming into the house. So I'm just sitting up here on the back of the pickup using this roof rake that my sister borrowed me. So far we've gotten <laughs> all of that snow off the roof. But from here what you can see is we got about three inches of ice that have formed underneath about a foot and a half, two feet of snow and that ice is pushing up underneath the shingles where this veranda meets the roof there. And then uh, it's pushing up under the shingles and then it's melting and going through the nail holes underneath the, the shingles into the attic and then down to the poly at the bottom of the attic and then it finds a hole, a light fixture or a heating vent and it's coming down into the house and it's raining in the house. So we're unfortunately gonna have to redo the roof this summer. So pretty much all I can do for now is clear the snow off the roof so that the ice underneath the snow can melt. And then I gotta keep the roof clear of all snow. And as long as we don't have any ice buildup underneath snow on our roof, we won't have any water in our house. Then this spring, we wanna put a metal roof on. So that's, that's gonna be fun. But hopefully we can do most of it ourselves. Uh, I have a few cousins and my dad and father-in-law who also know what they're doing when it comes to roofs. So it'll be a learning experience for me uh, so they can teach me how to do my own roof. And then maybe the next year we can do our garage as well to match the house. We'll see what happens. But right now we're just trying to get it to stop raining in the house. And you know, once spring comes around, we're gonna have to go up into the attic, and clear out all the, well, I don't think we'll have to suck out or blow out or clear out all the insulation, just the insulation that was touched by the water, clear that all out and then blow new insulation up into there and then got to redo our drywall on our roof. So we got our projects lined up for us this summer. Home ownership is fun, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I don't regret a thing. I'm actually having fun right now. I know it sort of sucks and there's a lot of work and money to be put into this house, but I don't know. It's our house, it's our home. And I like fixing it and I like making it better. Well, that was a really fun day and a really cool experience. And uh, that was our donation day that we've been waiting for for quite a while. We promised that when you guys helped us out and helped us fundraise for Frankie's surgery, 
uh, to come up with the cash before it was too late. Uh, you guys came through for us and we promised that with anything left over, we would do a donation to other dogs in need. And this was it. So we were very excited to do that. Thanks for watching today. Please go and check out Spirit of Hope Rescue. Their link is going to be down below in the description of this video. It'll be the first thing down there. If you're in the Winnipeg or Manitoba area, I really encourage you to contact them if you are interested in adopting a puppy. They're great people, and I'm sure they would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you tomorrow.